Good afternoon, friends. Um, welcome to the team of uh, All or None Law. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, really appreciate and thank you for all your support. Today we're going to discuss about Von William classification, which comes uh, very often in the examinations and also um, is uh, difficult to remember as uh, this includes different class of medications. Um, the name as indicates uh, Von William classification of antiarrhythmic drugs used in the treatment of arrhythmias um, um, was designed and uh, devised by uh, two members that is Von Williams as well as Mr. Singh in 1970 in Britain. Um, since then this has been the standard uh, classification. This classification was based, based on the uh, mechanism of actions of different antiarrhythmics. And I think every antiarrhythmic to date which has been or is being used can be grouped into one of these um, classes. Totally there are five classes and I'll go uh, individually by uh, one class each. Class one uh, is subdivided into three types that is 1A, 1B, 1C. One has to remember that class one basically acts through sodium channel blocking. Depending upon the speed at which they block, they are subdivided into A, B, C as the name implies. And as it is evident on my explanation here, 1A includes medications quinidine, procanamide, and disopramide. And the best way to remember, I have put on some mnemonics there for fun part. Um, that is police department questions. That is P for procanamide, D for disopramide, and Q for quinidine. Just that if hope that helps you. Uh, the main use uh, of these medications is in um, ventricular arrhythmia as well as atrial fibrillation. Procanamide specifically can be used in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Class 1B uh, includes um, uh, four class of medications. Um, this is probably the most underutilized, uh, most less utilized, uh, I would say, um, as this is not very popular. Uh, these include lidocaine, phenytoin, mexiletine, as well as tokenide. And the, the mnemonic to remember this list of medication is, let me think, please. Probably goes in uh, with this complex uh, classification, right? So, uh, as far as the use, once again, same uh, category um, as um, class 1A, that is ventricular tachycardia as an atrial fibrillation. Uh, class 1C uh, is probably more commonly used that includes fecanide, propafenone, and morcizine. Uh, and the mnemonic to remember is more fries please. More it stands for morcizine, fries, flaconide, please, propafenone. Um, these act on the slow sodium channels, and um, uh, one has to remember this is primarily used for atrial fibrillation than ventricular arrhythmias. Coming to class two, mainly includes beta blockers, and the clinically significant beta blockers included in this category is uh, esmolol, metoprolol, atenolol, bezoprolol, carvedilol, as well as labetalol. I'm not going to go for the trade names because it becomes confusing, and people in different countries and different um, uh, areas have different trade names. So I have just kept it to the generic names. Uh, obviously, they work as beta blocking agents, um, decreasing the sympathetic activity, which clearly has a value in um, preventing arrhythmias. Once again, um, they are uh, used in any type of tachyarrhythmias. That is the thing to remember. But also to remember is they are uh, very typical, very different from other antiarrhythmics is the fact that they can be used in post myocardial infarction patients. Uh, however, rest others are either contraindicated or should be used with caution. Um, so that is the best thing about beta blockers and these are probably the most marketed and the best medications. Class 3 includes uh, a special group that is uh, which prolongs action potential, action potential duration that is called as APD prolongation. These includes amiodarone, dronadarone, sotalol, uh, interestingly a beta blocker and a new class of drugs um, uh, which includes ibutrilide as well as dopetalide. These medications act by block, uh, blocking the potassium channels and interestingly sotalol which being a beta blocker acts by this mechanism that's why it is included here. Once again used for ventricular tachycardias as well as atrial fibrillation. Important thing to remember that this can be used, the ibutrilide sorry, the ibutrilide and dofetilide can be used only for atrial arrhythmias. 
class 4 includes calcium channel blockers that is verapamil deltaism once again the name implies it uh, blocks the calcium channels once again used for both uh, supraventricular tachycardia as well as ventricular arrhythmias class 5 is a waste bag that includes adenosine digoxin and magnesium this is an interesting um, group of medications uh, uh, mechanism is unknown adenosine is specifically used for diagnosis of supraventricular tachycardia digoxin as you know is used for heart failure and magnesium sulfate is specifically used in polymorphic ventricular tachycardia also known as torsa de pointis friends thank you very much and i hope this helps to you once again to summarize von william classification includes five class class one which affects the sodium channels class two beta blockers class three is action potential duration prolonging drugs class four calcium channel blockers class five is miscellaneous drugs thank you very much and have fun and good luck for the exams